The wedding is upon us. <laughs> I speak a great British pound. Period. Cheers. Cheers to that. Good to Mafia. Good to Mafia! Clink, clink. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chengatai Victoria and I am on my way to the tailor who's mending my wedding dress. I finally got to see my dress once it was made and it was too big. No, someone needs to like help me make sense of this because you took my measurement, you sent it off to the designer, you can't even see me, you send it off to the designer and it still doesn't fit like it's not like i okay i've lost a bit of weight but not mad weight like that so that's just really frustrating because that's 360 pounds <clears throat> that i'm paying extra for this dress so now the dress is definitely like what two point i think it's like 2.3 i'm spending on this dress which is a lot of money for a dress you wear for about six hours um after that i'm gonna go get my toenails done because tomorrow is my bridal shower and i cannot wait one thing about me i'm milking up every single wedding event so if there's an event for it i'm gonna do it hen party doing it bridal shower doing it kitchen party doing it rehearsal dinner doing it after party doing it I'm just here for a good time, do you know what I mean? Might as well enjoy myself. <laughs> Alright, let's go see this dress. Um, yeah, let me go see this dress. Hopefully he's near the end because I think he just said he wanted to try it on before he finally stitches everything in together or something. I fly in two weeks, so he needs to wrap it up in two weeks. Yeah, and I'm really excited for the bridal shower. So I'm gonna take you along today and tomorrow as I prepare for that and then obviously when I go to it we'll see a bit of what it's like um, I think it'll be super cute and my sister's been planning that so she is the bestest maid of honor and I know loads of people have been contributing to it what am I gonna listen to the receipts let's listen to the receipts podcast like online yes it's just there's no benefit to that song it was just completely and do you know what's so mad so I've arrived in Ipswich and I'm gonna go to where my tailor is this is such a lovely angle um I'm, i don't know i won't show you the dress because why would i do it but i was trying to look for a cash machine because he wants cash he wants to be paid in cash All right let me get my shoes out the car Look at all the returns I have. So I've got my wedding shoes here to try on. So there's a top tip for you. Try on your wedding dress with your wedding shoes so that the length and everything is right. Right, so yesterday my camera died when we were walking. Then today when I went to get my nails done, because I didn't manage to get them done yesterday, my camera was saying memory full. So hopefully we're back now and I can start again. But basically yesterday I went into Primark and I got these backless, well these backless and strapless adhesive bra because basically I need the bra pads because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye them like brown, like my close to my skin colour so that I can put them in my wedding dress because at the moment my wedding dress has them in like basically this colour and you can tell the difference like obviously, you know, I ain't peachy. I'm a chocolate brown. Oh. So what I need to do, I need to wash it to get rid of this adhesive bit. Um, but I'd actually, it's so hard to find like these in like a brown for my skin shade online, which is crazy because I feel like it should be easily available, but it's really not. Um, it's available in the US and it was 15 pounds for these and then 15 pounds shipping, so that's 30 pounds. Whereas this was five pounds, and the dye I got was only eight pounds, so in total, what, that's 13 pounds. 
um so that's a lot cheaper so hopefully it goes well because i need to take it to the tailor on monday so he can sew it into the dress and yeah the dress fit really well but yeah let's go yeah so today is my bridal shout as well so my friend terry's coming um she should be here probably any second now to get ready with me and then she's gonna walk in with me as well as my friend Sharma. Um, so I need to do this quickly. I need to eat so I can start drinking whilst I'm getting ready. Um, I'm just clean my sink quickly. This is the utility room. This stuff here is for the bridal shower, some dispensers that my cousin's gonna come pick up. Come to the rescue. <laughs> She's come to save the day. Well, I'm trying. I'm still trying to understand what it's trying to tell. <laughs> add the dye. Okay, it's after. Okay, I need to warm up first. I was thinking, when do I add this? That's what I was trying to find. Oh, look, it's already for you. There it is. We just had my world famous carbonara. Oh, world famous. It was amazing. <laughs> they killed the Italian style. It was great. Alright, <laughs> whilst you're getting that up, let me get up upstairs. This is Otherwise, we'll never get out of here. I'm just sat here like, <laughs> just watching. I haven't even done that intro in such a long time. It is like, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. I'm so sorry for your carpet in advance. Oh, no, I don't think I'm shaking it. It should be fine. No, I haven't shaken it. It should have settled because I'm thinking I drove here. <laughs> can yeah, I even? It was in the fridge. Should be all right. Can I even? Oh, yeah. Just don't forget to hold on to the walk. Why am I scared? I'm scared. I'm so close. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh! It's fine. Oh. oh, okay. We thank God. Skillfully done. Mate, all those years in hospitality weren't wasted. Oh, it's actually only one year. Oh, the years of drinking for second for me. Makes sense. It adds up. I should have pulled yours first, so this could be yours, actually. Why? Because I feel like, I don't know, it feels weird to pour for myself first. I don't know why. Is that so, the hostess to me? Anyway, Karen. I don't know. But, um, it's time. Um, we're gonna start getting ready. Cause Finally. We have to be out of here when? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, my phone is literally all the way over there. I'll get it because it makes more sense. <laughs> it's half 12. Um, we have to like, I think we'll leave at 3.30. So we have three hours? Is that three hours? It's half 12, leaving at 3.30. Yeah. Yeah, we've got three hours to get ready. So I need that to do my sense. hair, makeup, and then we'll get dressed. Okay. So the drinking That's game. That's ample drinking time. That's ample. We could finish that from that time. Oh, cheers! Sorry. Oh. Cheers. I, I forget that your hair was ever like dark. <laughs> Do you know what? Who is it that Sean was saying that to me? He's like, if I ever take my hair back to black, she's just gonna be like, what? Because even at uni, you had blonde hair. Towards the end, like by sec end of second year. Yeah, when yeah, we lived together. Like, yeah. Is it giving what it's supposed to give? <laughs> 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 oh. Not the swivel, just swiveling. We're trying uh, to choose a song for us to do our walk in for the for the event. Part shall not, right, yeah, for the part for the events. So I was thinking, Mina now wear by So So a Matrix. Is that how you say it? Or yeah, Col Colosa by who's that? What's Oxlade. Her name? Oxlade. Oxlade. Oh, do you know what? This is actually a very good song as well. It's called Pele Pele by Chico and Plastic Mellow Sleazy. YouTube the ads. Twenty one, can you do something for me? Can you hit a little rich face for me? And twenty one, can you do something for me? Try some bars to my pussy eggs for me. And twenty one, can you do something for me? I speak great British pounds. Period. Cheers. Cheers, love. It's so windy. Nah, I think it has to be this song. But it's not my wedding, but that's the problem. No. It's your wedding. Oh, are you gonna say that for the old?
You can't tell me different. I look phenomenal. <laughs> clink, clink. This is even a hazard. Hey guys. I'm back to the Yeah, I oh, oh, I'm, I'm proper. We're ready. Um, you'll see my outfit once we get there. Yeah. But it is fire, okay? It is absolutely flames. Like, it's very simple. And these earrings, can we? Nothing. Like, what? How? How sway? Explain it to me. But yeah, very cute Barbie girl vibes. And here's the. I was gonna say the, something very related. We said that's not allowed today, but. Oh, how about yours look. captures the entire look? Look. My camera doesn't get the entire Why does it, look. Why does it not? Oh, well, I'll say this in. Just look at it. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving. The price is up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. I'm just going to have a quick toast to everyone here who's come to celebrate us and start us on this beautiful journey together. So, thank you guys for showing the support, the love. I appreciate. We appreciate everyone here. To go to Mafia. But mostly to my wife. Oh. Thank you guys. Toast. High key, like four days later. Okay, so today is, is it Wednesday? Good God, it's not Wednesday. <laughs> the last time I vlogged or turned on the camera was um, Saturday, the 25th of November. It's now the 30th of November. Okay, after the bridal shower, everyone came over to our house and we had an, oh, not everyone, but like, you know, Key people came over to our house and we had an after party after the party um, and then on the Sunday obviously people were still over because they slept there and we had we didn't have anything oh we had leftovers from the party as in food wise and then we went to Ipswich for my brother's football match and then we traveled all the way to Kent um, to drop off some of the guys who were at ours bear in mind we live in Essex so this was quite a long journey um, and we got there like 11 p.m. or something like that and then the next day I had to go pick up my husband's wedding band and yeah anyway long story short I got my wedding dress that day then on Tuesday yesterday I had work and I also had to go pick up well not pick up but go and have a fitting for my traditional wedding dress which my friend terry's mum is making it her name is actually jose hendo she is a sustainable fashion designer and she makes um wedding gowns she makes bespoke designs so yeah she's making my dress and it looks phenomenal the wedding is upon us one week one day until we fly is crazy um right now i'm gonna go in town because your girl doesn't have a wedding ring as in a wedding band so i want something quite particular i want an eternity band i want it the diamonds to be a claw i don't know if i'm what i'm saying makes sense but that's what i want and yeah i can't seem to find what i want like big enough i want the diamonds to be like you know quite chunky i am like 
guys i'm not even gonna lie to you it's the next day it is is it wednesday or thursday good god it's thursday we've got a week until we fly it's thursday the first of december that is crazy <laughs> but um yeah i won't lie i didn't vlog properly this week i want to do better this coming week as we prepare to head out to south africa i just thought i'd give you guys like five of my like top tips for wedding dress shopping since i picked up my dress on monday i'm like a pro wedding dress shopper apparently number one i would say try on all the various different silhouettes of the dresses so like there's mermaid there's like a proper like princess ball gown there's like a line try on all the various silhouettes even if you know that you want a mermaid try on all the various silhouettes just to rule them out properly once you've tried them on once you've tried on the various silhouettes and you decided no i want to go with a line now you can try on a few different styles of the a-line maybe one has sequins maybe one has like more boobs that kind of thing and like narrow it down however i would then say do not try on too many dresses because i think that's when it gets confusing and i found this yesterday when i went wedding ring shopping because i just kept saying okay let me try that one all right let me try that one let me try that one and it doesn't want, it makes it so much harder you think it's going to make it easier no it's going to make it harder so don't overwhelm yourself with too many different options another thing is if you find a dress that is on a rail in the shop and it fits you perfectly buy that one it's going to be cheaper yes they'll clean it for you and dry clean it for you but it's going to be cheaper because obviously it was on the shop floor so definitely do that I, the first dress i found and i thought i was going to get I found it on the shop floor was going to be like £600 compared to the dress that I got now which wasn't on the shop floor like in my size so I had to get it made and that was 1.9 so yeah big difference another tip it's not really a tip but the stylist at the shop that I went to so she told me like you'll know the dress is yours or like it's perfect for you when before you've even looked in the mirror if you just love it and that's what happened to me as soon as i put it on before like i even looked in the mirror she as i stepped into it and i had it on and i looked down and i was like this is it and yeah that's how i found my dress because i just knew as soon as i stepped into it because it just made me feel really good it's all about making you feel confident because the whole day you're not going to be standing in front of a mirror everyone's going to be looking at you but you need to be able to feel confident because you feel confident in it and not because you're looking at your reflection if that makes sense last thing i would say don't take too many people with you too many chefs spoil the broth is that it yeah spoil the soup or whatever just go with like your mom close friend or sister or something like that but yeah that's it guys check out my tiktok to see all the rings i tried on and i will see you next week bye